Hi there and welcome to the start of week two. Uh, but in this video I just want to um, do a quick review of uh, your unit goals and course goals from week one. There's no reason to um, enlarge this video, you can just keep it small here in the discussion uh, because I won't be doing a demonstration. I'm just going to talk about the, um, the unit goals and course goals that I've uh, so sort of brought into a summary uh, just below and I've got them um, in front of me here to have a look at as well. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is, look, what an amazing week one. Uh, look, it just was wonderful to go through and see the collegiality that is forming um, and the, you know, you, you, feedback comes from everybody, okay? And my um, philosophy is that everyone is a teacher and everyone's a student. Uh, every teaching period, I learn a great deal from my students. Um, and you will learn some stuff from me, but most of it you will learn from the essential readings and sharing uh, what you do and don't know about the essential readings with your colleagues here in the discussion boards. So you're all learning from each other, we're all learning from each other, and we're all teaching each other, uh, which is more important. Um, so in regard to the um, the unit goals and course goals, uh, they're really excellent. There's a, it's such a wide variety of really um, meaningful goals that I think uh, are going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be writing about these in assignments three and four. Now, you might think it's a bit strange. I'm going to talk to you about... Um, briefly now about assignments three and four. Uh, we haven't even done assignment two yet, but uh, later you will come. You will need to come back probably to this week and possibly watch this um, video again and certainly revisit your unit goals and course goals. Now these goals may change as you work through the unit. Uh, you might find that the goals that you've listed now are not the same as the goals that you might want to achieve later on after you've um, you know, read through some of the essential reading, particularly when it comes to uh, the communication theory and when it comes to the learning theory, which we cover in weeks five and week six. Um, but nevertheless, uh, these unit goals and course goals are really important. So if you have not done this task, it's really important that you do uh, complete this task. If you had, if there was a technical glitch and you was you weren't able to um, copy and paste, um, well then just do it manually or do it in a Word document. So you've got your course goals and unit goals to refer back to when we get to assignments three and four. Now these uh, goals here, I've gone through and. Um, uh, brought in one of the goals from everybody, I think. If I missed you, um, I apologize. I think I got most everybody, uh, at least one goal from, from everybody um, who had it had their submission in by, you know, nine o'clock this morning when I first went through and, and did this Monday morning. Um, I've, I've done some massaging. I Like, I've, I've reduced, if some goals were a bit long, I've reduced the length to, so it's more readable here. And I may have moved your goal from a unit goal to a course goal, or your course goal to a unit goal, because um, I think it might. Uh, th there are things here that we we learn in the unit that might be uh, might lean better towards the goal that you had in your course goal, and there might be goals that you had in the unit goal that that it's, it's more of a big picture item, so it sits better in the course goal column. So uh, when you come here and have a look at uh, the, you know, the, the review of your goals here. Um, just keep that in mind that, I'm, that, that it's just a consideration. I'm just providing this information as guidance. So just because I moved your goal, doesn't, this does not mean you have to move your goal. It's just something for you to consider. Now in assignment three, you'll be um, talking about your unit goal and course goal, and you'll be talking about um, why it's important to have this as a goal. And one of the ways you'll um, support your argument for the importance of your goals is by using uh, theory. So underneath each of these unit goals and course goals, I've taken some literature from um, across all of the weeks of the unit that I think line up nicely with with your unit goals and course goals. So under the unit goals, it's more um, communication theory um, and more about constructing and publishing knowledge. And in the course goals, it's more about learning theory and reflecting on yourself as learner. And so the literature in the 
unit goals, I think, best supports your reason for having this as a goal. And the literature in the course goal column you can use to support your argument for why this is your course goal. Um, now, that's all I really wanted to say. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask in, um, in any of the discussion boards because I'll read it wherever you post your question or you can just email me privately. That's fine as well. Um, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, thanks so much for all your efforts this past week in week one. It's been amazing. I'm really enjoying getting to know you and hopefully you, some of you might be enjoying to get to know me, but that's okay. Um, if you're not, <laughs> we'll, we're all in this together. And um, look, as long as we're supporting each other and our intentions are for the best, I think we'll come out at the end of this quite well. Thanks very much for watching and uh, good luck with week two. And I'll be seeing you in the discussion boards. Bye for now.